Okay, so the, this is the third part. Okay, so we've talked about um, how the Holy Spirit acts in our lives and um, it should be um, our guiding our, um, you know, our commander or, so to speak, controller of our lives at that point. Okay, we have established that, right? So we are now going to be talking about how we are going to be um, overflowing, supposedly, as a Christian, if you're not, you need to be in communion with you, with the Holy Spirit, right? And so, blessing must be poured out, okay? Also, knowing the Holy Spirit, you're, we're going to have to, like, um, be discipled first, like I said, and then we're going to disciple. We're going to have to share this overflowing, um, you know, like an overflowing spring of river that we feel. It's an overflowing fountain of joy that we feel. We're going to share that to other believers so that they we can encourage them uh, so that they can be in communion with their um spirit and and you use tap into that instead of you know a lot of people now right so we need to make sure that we are in contact with that um spirit that we we wanted to um to have control in our lives as opposed to other control okay keep in mind this world is satan's world you don't want any control other than the Holy Spirit, okay? It should be a feeling of like, you know, peace, overflowing waters of, you know, of victorious life, you know, able to, um, you know, like I said, Satan will flee, right? So you are you can overcome the fleshly uh, world of pleasure that we uh, time to time uh, fall into if um, we're not filled with the Holy Spirit. And then during our weakness, Satan usually... Um, is going to attack us, right? Again, it's not a one-time experience. It's a, it, it must be done constantly, like prayer without ceasing, right? Okay, so we're going to go on to the, um, you know, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, right? This is really a kind of controversial issue. Um, uh, I don't want to get into that much, um, but overall, um, it's never going to settle between tele theologians. Uh theologians and uh, evangelicals, right? They're in, in battle with that, right? I don't want to confuse you further, right? But it's more so that we wanted to know that, you know, Satan has to divide Christians, right? They want all Christians to fight, right? The, the, the ministry of the Spirit is supposedly, no, no, not supposedly, is to put Christians together, Satan is to divide our Christians, right? So he, he's working on us Christians to, because if it looks like we're chaos in the world, we keep in mind we have an obligation to the world as Christ's mind, like, 